Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher, and today I'm going to bring you a very quick beginner workout that is perfect if you've never done Pilates and you've not had an instructor teaching you any of the exercises. This is something you can do every single day to start building your strength and your mobility to work your way up. So you're going to start with your feet hip distance parallel. You're going to bend your knees a little bit, and you're going to draw your stomach in, but also up. From here, you're going to bring your elbows right into your sides and your hands together and standing up really tall. Now you're going to open and you're going to come back. And your elbows are staying right where they started. Open and come back. And again, open and come back. Do it again. Open and back. We're working on posture here. We're working on shoulder mobility. Let's do three more three and come back and two and come back make sure you're drawing your stomach in and up and come back excellent so now you just need a mat you don't need anything else I have this fancy thing here but you do not need a raised bed okay so you're gonna go ahead and carefully go onto your back and you're gonna start with your feet hip distance parallel again that's two fists between your feet and from here, you're going to start with pelvic tucks. So you're going to imprint your lower back and lift your lower back eight times. In and out. In and out. Try to have equal pressure on both butt cheeks. Three more. Take your time. Two and one. Now you're going to go into the 100, which warms your body up, gets the blood flowing and the oxygen flowing. You're going to bring both feet together, and you're just going to walk your feet out a little bit, and then extend one leg and keep those knees connected. Now you're going to bring your chin to your chest and lift your arms. You're going to do half your 100 here. Start pumping. You inhale five pumps, two, three, four, five. Now exhale, two, three, four, five. You inhale, two, three, four, five, and out two, three, four, twenty. If your neck gets tired, just put it down and draw the stomach in even more. And out, two, three, four, thirty. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, forty. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, fifty. Hold. Go ahead and put the leg down and lower your head. You're now going to do the other side so you can reach the other leg up and lift your head and let's go inhale two three four five and out two three four sixty in two three four five look at your belly button seventy in two three four five out two three four thirty in two three four five out two three four forty in two three four five out two three four hold lower the leg and lower your head. Now for your one leg stretch, you're gonna open your feet hip distance parallel and you're gonna curl your head back up again. Feel free to leave it down if it's too much. You're gonna bring your right knee into your chest, you're gonna hug it in, you're gonna put your foot down and you're gonna grab the other leg. Take your time, look at your belly button. Over time, your neck won't hurt so much because your abdominals will get stronger, but you can do it here. In and out. Go inhale, hug, exhale down. Inhale, hug, exhale down. Inhale, hug, exhale down, and lower it all the way back down. So now walk your feet together all the way, and you're going to extend the right leg again with those knees connected, and you're going to pull the stomach in and up. From here, you're going to slowly lower your leg towards the mat for five counts. Two, pull the stomach in more, three, pull it in more, four, five, and come back up. Two, three, four, five. Again, down, two, three, four, pull, pull, pull in, and up. Two, three, four, five, and down two, three, pull, pull, pull. And when you come up, try not to lift your booty off the mat. Good, three on the other side. So lower that leg, other side. And you're gonna take it down, 
two, three, four, five, up, two, three, four, five, down, two, three, four, five, up, two, three, four, five. One more. Really focus on your stomach pulling in the opposite direction of your leg and come all the way back up and lower it down. Now for shoulder bridge, you're going to open your feet two fist distance apart, like that, for your hip distance, and you're going to bend your knees as much as your knees will allow you. You know, everybody has different health to their knees. Hands are by your sides. Now you're going to tuck your pelvis under and imprint your lower back into the mat, and then start rolling your hips up and try to push your hip bones straight up to the ceiling and then take it back down, upper back, middle back, lower back, tailbone goes heavy. And again, you tuck the pelvis under and you take it up nice and controlled, push your hips up to the ceiling and draw the stomach in in opposition and then take it down, upper, middle, lower, and again, scoop and go up, push through the feet, lift your hips, and down. All the while you're trying to pull the stomach in and up. Two more. Roll, pull the stomach in as you push your hips up and back down. Last time. And take it all the way down. Good, hug your knees in, rock a little from side to side. All right, so you can grab behind your legs and rock yourself up to a seated, or you can also scoot to the side, roll onto your side, and push yourself Here up. You Bring your body into a seated position, crisscross applesauce. If this doesn't feel good for you, you can sit on a big book or a yoga block or something. You can also sit in a chair. It depends on how tight your body is and to sit up in that position. So you're sitting up nice and tall. You're going to pull your stomach in and lift your chest as much as possible. And then you're going to genie those arms. Now really try to push the arms into each other. The bottom arm pushes up, the top arm pushes down so that you're active. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, twist. I'm going to the right, so I'm going to bring my chin to my right shoulder. Inhale, back center. Exhale, twist left. And now my chin goes to my left shoulder. And come back. I'm going to switch the arms. Inhale, lift tall and pull the stomach in. And then twist to the right and bring your chin to your right shoulder. And sit up tall. Inhale, exhale, twist. And come all the way back and lower it down. OK, so now you're going to come to a stand to finish off. We're going to work on a little bit more twisting in that upper body. And you're going to stand with your legs together parallel. Woo, don't fall over. And you're going to stand up nice and tall. And make sure you're not sinking in the backs of your knees, because that's not good for your joints. And you're going to bring your arms together, just hands together like you're clapping. And then you're going to reach your right arm back behind you and look towards the back wall and come back. Inhale here. Lift your chest. Draw your stomach in. Exhale, twist. And center. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Come all the way back. Bring your arms down. Roll your shoulders up and back. You guys are all done. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you do it as often as possible. You are not tearing your muscles apart, so you can do this every day and you'll start to feel better and better and better. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.